All right, morning, everybody. Welcome back for uh, another episode. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I know we did. Uh, way too much food, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start working on working on that. And I got to get my get my eating under control and get some fat off here. So we're 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 heading for a uh, for a, a metabolic reset. That's what we're gonna do. So anyway, uh, back on the on the van here. So we finished side one or roughed in side one and we're gonna start on side two. So let's uh, let's take a look at what we got here. No, you're not bringing home another piece of junk. <laughs> Right, so I hope you all had a good Christmas. I got me a uh, a new set of overalls, which I thought was really cool. And my daughter got me this, which is really cool. My old junk tap and dies went in the trash. Ain't that slick? Yep, that's cool. I can't wait to break a bolt off and try it. <laughs> all right, so remember where we left off over here in the last video? Which, uh, what is really nice is is we had to calculate and figure out how all this went together. And I think we did a pretty good job of it. But now all I had to do was measure and make some templates and transfer it to the other side. So what I did is I took this piece of paper and uh, made me a template there. Took it over here. I traced it out right there. So there's my cut for there. Measured it over there. And uh, made these marks here over here. So that's going to be my cut for here. So uh, quite a bit of uh, stuff I don't have to refigure and calculate. I just take it from over there. And I think this side is going to go a lot faster. First thing we're going to do over here, though, is I need to weld, finish welding this side of the frame. So we're going to do that. I need to put a support plate like I did here, over here, and I want to pull this steering box off. So I am just going to, uh, I'm just going to bust it loose from the uh, steering link down there, unbolt the box and take it off. And i um, been talking to an engineering buddy of mine, we got some ideas how to make an extender shaft to make this thing work. And uh, I'm gonna, basically going to extend the output shaft. Pitman arm will stay where it is, but I'll have a long output shaft, probably with a, a pillow block bearing support in there in the middle. May have to have that shaft turned down, but uh, still figuring that out. So that's where we're going with that. <clears throat> so let me get some, uh, I kind of got some junk in the way over here. Let me clean out a spot over here and then uh, I'll get the welder out. We'll knock that frame out. We'll knock this plate out and we'll get that off and then we'll take another look here. All right, so the steering box is off. I kind of cut that piece of raggedy floor back because we're going to be we're going to be redoing that, but I am going to I do want to put a little brace right there for now just to just to hold that steady, I'll probably end up cutting that old crappy floor off the top of it when we put a piece across there. But uh, just for now to kind of hold it, I'm just going to put a plate right in there and tack it. And uh, I'm about ready to start welding back there on the frame. I got the steering box over here. And that pitman arm's kind of not in great shape, so I'm probably going to be changing that. But... So the idea here, if you didn't understand what I was saying, is we're gonna make this output shaft, I'm thinking about a foot long, maybe. And the uh, pitman arm will be at the end of it, basically in the same position that it was. We're just moving the box forward. That's the idea anyway. So I know they do like something similar on sprint cars when they got the box mounted up under the dash and they do the uh what do they call it the cowl steering 
So same kind of uh, same concept. We just gotta we just gotta engineer something. All right, well, let me get this um, let me get this frame welded up, and we'll uh, we'll take a look. Once I get the frame welded up, I can actually pull the jack stands out from under this thing, and we'll see if she's a free roller. All right, we're coming along. We got Scrooge on the radio. Just listen to uh, "It's a Wonderful Life." So good radio stuff going today. All right, so. Not the prettiest, but I've got nine plug welds on that side, nine plug welds on that side, three inside down through the bottom of the frame, got it welded inside the frame, going up back there, going up back there, and got a plate on it. So not the prettiest, but it ain't going anywhere. And deck stands out, so we are free rolling. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Again, I don't have any more Unistrut, but I got some uh, conduit, so we'll use it. I'm gonna put a brace from here to here, there to there, and then a brace from there to there. Then that shouldn't move. I did get a plate, just a piece of plate tacked in down here, right there. So this ain't gonna move. Once we get that in, I am pretty comfortable to whack this nasty part of the floor out and give myself some more working room here because I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna cut me a couple pieces of conduit, get this brace in, and then we'll uh, take a chunk of this floor out and uh, see what we got. All right, so Scrooge is. Uh, Found the uh, found the right way, and he's being nice people now. And he's giving Bob a raise, and uh, gonna get Tiny Tim some medical help and Christmas goose and all that good stuff. So, good story. And here's where we are in here. That is much better. Whack that whole section of the floor out, and uh, we got this braced, and nothing moved at all when I did. So, pretty happy with that. I'm thinking, if you can get a good view of it from here, let me try it over here. Crawl under here. All right. I think we may end up going back with the engine because I was, you know, I was looking like it, looking at some of the 60s vans and we need, we need a flat spot in the floor up here. And then we need the doghouse to start in here somewhere. And we may be all right. And then we need space for the radiator. We need a little space on both sides of the front of the doghouse for the radiator. And the front of the doghouse will be at a slant. And then enough room for the motor and, and the water pump and the fan and all that. So if I need to, we'll just make some plates to bolt on top of these and we'll set that uh, motor mount back, you know, a width of the motor mount, do some quarter inch plates and maybe put some gussets on it. And I think that may be as much as we need, but I don't know what we'll to do some measuring. I need to get this out of the way to uh, kind of really get a view of how much room I got. But before I do that, we gotta do this side and uh, get it secure. And uh, then once we do that, I, I can uh, start making some pieces to fill this in and cut this thing and get it out of the way. And we're gonna have to extend those, those front frame horns, which I think I'm gonna take the pieces I cut out back there and just weld them on, the, uh, plate them on the inside and weld them on the front uh, to extend that out. That's what I'm thinking, we'll, we'll have to see. But, good progress here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and cut this corner out over here. Get out of there without whacking myself on some jagged metal. 
All right, I already took my cutoff wheel and cut my line. So I just need to take it over a little bit more and then take the saws all and follow that line down and cut that corner off. And uh, we'll be in good shape. And then our, after that, um, we need to pull this wheel well apart like we did the other one. So like I said on this one, I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take the wheel up off of the wheel well. Because there's there must be 20 welds under there. And uh, if I can leave that on there or not, I'll take that apart, that would be great. I'm just gonna do what I did on the other one, cut right along this line, down to there, drill these spot welds out, and get that piece off. And then cut down there. So um let me get that corner cut off over there and we'll, we'll see what we got. All right, so I got my corner cut and I uh, went ahead and cut this off and cut my, I forgot what it was, three inches or something off of that. I measured off the other side, so we'll be the same. And then, um, yeah. So we're looking good. So uh, like I said, next thing I'm going to do is that wheel well. I'm going to take a couple days here and I got some, Work, some honeydew work to do in my basement. So I'm going to be working on that for the next few days, maybe uh, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. We'll pick this video back up. But uh, so kind of here's my, here's my goal for what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to get that side roughed in like this side. Then I want to fill this hole and cut this, um, uh, old engine housing out of there and uh, and get the frame extended and get all that anchored up there so once we're there we're going to start figuring out how to make a truck out of this thing so first thing I'm going to do is cut I haven't decided which line yet if you look on the picture the top of the bed rail is even with the even with the door handle. So I'm thinking we'll cut down in here somewhere, maybe this line. And I'm going to use, I think, one, uh, two by three inch square tubing to make that top bed rail. I thought about cutting a bed rail off another truck bed, but I don't know if I want to do that. I could change my mind. But first thing we're going to do, we're going to come back here. We're gonna cut all the way to these back windows. We're gonna get these windows out of here. And then we're gonna go all the way across the top. We're gonna to just take this whole center section out of it and then figure out how to take that rear cap. We'll take the doors off of it and move it up to here. And get a wider angle on this, don't I? All right, so we're gonna cut from that door line, that this door, all the way back to the end of that back window, all the way over and just take that whole center section out of that thing. And then that back, back end piece, back there, we're gonna cut it on the same line and we're gonna bring it up here. I'm gonna have to make some framework for it and uh, figure out how to make a cab out of this thing. And uh, I, I want to get that in place with this, figure out what the cab looks like, get, get it to where I'm happy with the way it looks, and use that to kind of help decide my motor placement. Because I want to get the motor as far back in the cab as I can. Um, so I got that AGI distributor in the back on a small block Chevy. A, a, but uh, I want to get it kind of back against the back wall. If you look at this thing, because of the motor in the back on these, there's really hardly any space there behind that door. But if you look at the A100 Dodge or the Econoline, this goes back farther and it kind of slants down. And it gives them a little, little room under here for the back of the motor. And then like the front of the motor is even with the wheels. It's what it looks like on those. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for. I already got that nice slant on the back of that thing. 
so getting that up here and making that cab out of that i think is going to be pretty cool but anyway that's uh that's the order i think we're going to go so i'll pick this back up in a couple days and we'll work on making that side look like this side and uh see if we can see if we can get, get the this whole video to where we're done with that side looking like this i think we can a uh, little creative editing so <laughs> all right uh catch you back in a few all right so we're back in the garage and uh uh actually just got back from florida like 20 minutes ago we uh went down to see our grandkids got caught in the southwest flight debacle was supposed to fly down uh ended up driving down and driving back and i just got back so uh, i kind of learned from some other uh, people on uh on the on youtube that if don't tell anybody you're going to be out of town tell them when you come back because it's probably not a good thing to announce that your house is going to be empty so that's what we did went down saw our grandkids took our other granddaughter with us had a really good time a lot of fun and uh so i've been driving since uh six o'clock this morning and it is now 5 30 tonight and i don't think i can sit down for a while my butt hurts so i thought i'll come out here and weld some junk together all right so i was kind of looking over this side and trying to remember how the order i did this in so so here's what i think we're going to do um i'm going to put this corner on first and then i'm going to put that post on there and we'll match i know i got that cardboard template around here somewhere we'll match that uh post we got to make in there uh match the profile up so that's straight and i had a piece of angle here uh, on this door as that i did that with and then after we do that we'll whack this dude up and we'll fix our little uh rocker down there and our wheel well over there okay so i already cut off of this what i had to so i need to get the paint off of that and then i need to take this piece and figure out how much i need to cut off of that thing and then let's get this at least let's get this tacked on here tonight I'm, I'm a little tired from driving but like i said i don't think i can sit down for a while so let's get uh rolling on that let's take some measurements get some paint off that thing and we'll get this get this dude tacked on here all right so i got that tacked on there just a couple three to hold it in place so let's do a quick side to side measurement and see if we are where we need to be here so i'm gonna go Let's go here to this headlock bucket. So we are right at the top of that light. We are 14 and a half. So let's take a look over here. Off that line. 14 and a half. That is right on. Looks like that might be sticking out a little bit more over here. Let me see. Okay. So we start poking out right about there. If you look over here. That's about, about the same. Yeah. Okay. Let's check this bottom one here. So if I go along this bottom line where that was, it's actually 14 down there because we're slanting in. So let's make sure we're 14 over here. Ooh, I don't know how long am I going tonight. I'm pretty, pretty tired from today. So where were we? Over here? Yeah. 14. All right. Okay. So that's tacked on there. So now the next thing we did was we cut this cap off. I 
above here and we moved it up to here. So, let's do that. I wonder if I should have cut that stupid thing off before I tacked that on there. I don't remember how I did that. Eh. It's, uh, it's sturdy enough I can get it off there. We're just going to go right around this line. And then right back there. All right, let me cut that. Clean off some uh, paint on there, and we'll tack it up there and see what we got. All right, so I got that piece tacked on, and uh, I mean, it measured out exactly as this side. In fact, I took the pattern I had made for the piece for that side and flopped it onto that side, and it went right on there. So, so that's a good deal. Uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm kind of getting a vision for this front end. I'm. I really don't like this squared off grill like how it does here. Although I had thought, I wonder if the uh, the old, I know, I know a lot of people are taking these G20 vans and putting the, like the 71 grill in them that uh, looks pretty good. I mean, that might look in there good in there, but that's a single round headlight. And uh, just seeing those holes in there, I really don't want to do square headlights, although I I threw them away once and I dug them out of the trash in case I changed my mind. But, you know, I just got a, a, a semi picture in my head of dual round headlights on this thing, maybe stacked on top of each other with some kind of homemade grill. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, that, that's a long way down the road, so... I'm gonna have the back of this thing cut off before we actually ever get to making a grill, so I got plenty of time to think about it. Okay, so that's uh, that's exactly what we did last time. That is tacked on there. Everything measures good. So now we got to make this post here that is going to um, support that panel and kind of be my uh, post for supporting the door jam. So let's go ahead and make that. I think I'm done for tonight. Um, I'm going to go in, relax a little while, and uh, tomorrow morning get out here early. We're going to make that post, and we're going to get this wheel well off there. I'm, I'm really going to hit this thing hard tomorrow, uh, tomorrow Saturday, and see how much of this we can get done. But I'm off uh, tomorrow, Sunday, and we're off Monday for the new year. So I'm, I'm uh, hoping by the end of this video, we're going to have this side where that other side is. And... Uh, it's, a, it's looking pretty good. I like that big open space without that crappy hunk of floor sitting in there anymore. So, all right, let's uh, pick this up in the morning. All right, morning, everybody. So we got uh, got a good night's sleep. I'll tell you what, I'm sore from that driving yesterday. That was like 12 hours of driving. Yeah, a little less than 12, but uh, yeah, that kind of beats you up. Even in a nice car. I was driving my wife's car my wife's uh, Nissan Rogue, which is a pretty comfortable little ride, but still just sitting and driving that long will uh, will make you tired. So got a little bit done last night. We're gonna get back on this morning. We got, uh, had uh, got up and had my coffee and uh, had my breakfast and watched uh, a little bit of uh, uh, Make It Custom and Half-Ass Custom. They're doing a, um, uh, they're kind of doing a joint show right now on a on a Chevy cab over, which is pretty cool. If you want to check that thing out, look at that build. But uh, anyway, back to this. So where we left off yesterday, got this corner on. Now we need to build that post right there, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did on the other side. Uh, we're going to cut this back a little bit, drill a couple holes. I got that inch and whatever it is, inch and a half square tubing. We'll cut us a piece off that. Got to kind of shape the bottom to the contour of the panel. And uh, let's get that on there first. We'll get this down and we'll get, uh, I don't know if we'll fill all that in right now or not. I don't know. Let's get this piece done first and then see what we got. And there's nothing to go wrong. I mean, well, if I showed I made this on the other side, so I mean, basically, after I cut this piece, I took my uh, this profile piece for those body lines 
and just uh, laid it on here and traced it on both sides and cut that out. And then what I'm going to do is put that in the vise, squeeze that down, just kind of work it all the way down and weld that on both sides. And uh, that's how I made that piece that went up behind there. And then it's going to stick in that yay far. So it's going to go about like that, you know, pretty much like we did on the other side. And we'll, uh, I'll put the piece of angle back on the door edge like I had on the other one so I can even that gap up all the way down and, and we'll get this on there. So let me get this squished down and welded, get that on there and we'll take a look. All right, so we got that together. So what I did is I screwed that angle on there like I've told you before and I used that to gauge my gap. And then I used my little profile piece of cardboard to gauge my profile of how far back that pillar should go. All right, so um, I need to do, I need to clean this paint off and need to put this little filler piece in and we need that rocker, that rocker panel. So I'm gonna have to take a measurement off the other side, see how much I cut off and we'll, I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut that rocker panel off of, uh, of that other wheel well. And let's get it on just like we did this. And then we'll, then we'll go ahead and finish this corner, put the filler panel in, get that all, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that or if we're gonna do door wheel well first. I can't remember what I did on the other side. I guess I can go back and look. But no, I'm, I'm thinking we'll just go ahead and let's finish this corner, get this. And we'll make we'll make everything fit to that. Um, Seem to work well on the other side. So, all right, let me uh, I'll grind this couple welds off, and we'll get this little filler piece put back in, and then we'll get this rocker cut off, and then we'll take a look. All right. So I made a little goof in my measuring, so we're gonna have to do some adjusting. But if I go from that quarter panel. up to that body line, I'm 24 and three quarters. If I go from right there with this dropped into the rocker panel to there, I'm 24 and three quarters. But over here, I am 23 and three quarters. So, I don't know how I did that. I guess I uh, mismeasured or something. But not a big deal. We're just gonna stab a one inch piece off on the bottom of this and we'll be good. So I cut my uh, cut my rocker off the other door, off the other wheel well, and uh, this that arrow is the center of my post. And then we cut the top out of here. I'm gonna do like I did over there, and uh, cut some slits in this so I can bend it and form it to that. So then I will actually. Well, you know what, if I, if I weld that, butt weld that on there and don't put it down in here, no, nah, that's going to set me up too far. I need to be, no, I need, I need room for the metal. So yeah, I need to be like that. Not to trim a little bit up there, but, uh, yeah, we're looking good. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find me a little piece of metal, some uh, quarter thick or uh, probably some eighth inch thick and just weld a tab on the back to come down another inch to fit in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure on the other side where I cut my slits and go ahead and get those cut. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll get we'll get this piece on like it's supposed to be. I gotta get it back, leave a little room for the sheet metal skin on the outside. Um, this being up higher is 
not going to cause any problems. Yeah, if it was down this uh, curve, if it was down lower, it would be problems. But being up there, it's, it should be okay. All right, so let me get uh, this tacked on, get this trimmed up, measured, and then I got my little... Ooh. Yeah, I need to get my door piece on there first because I got to do that that door line like I did over here. You know, I followed this door line over and then I put this little piece here that curved down. So I don't, do I want to put that in there yet? Yeah, I can put that in there. I just gotta, I just measure off this one. It should be good. And then I adjust the door corner to meet that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this, this panel filled in over there. And I cut the foot well off of this wheel well. And I went ahead and cut all along there. And there's like a million spot welds in this thing. I gotta, I gotta get out. I think I'll just take my zip cut, go along here, get that piece off, and then work on getting them little scraps off like I did the other one. I, I know that took a, that took a while, but uh, heck, I've only been out here a little over two hours, and uh, we're cruising right along. Okay, let me get that piece on, and uh, and we'll take a look how it came out. All right, so I got that together, and just by measuring off the other side and putting everything in the same spot, everything seems to fall in right exactly together where the other side did. Uh, just a tiny, tiny minor amount of trimming on the front. So, and I did a bunch of measuring on here, you know, from the body lines down and, and everything is coming out the same. So that's good. So I was going to put this panel on here, but I, I think I'm going to wait because right now it, it's steady. The shape is right, but I can move it a little bit if I need to. So I'm thinking let's go ahead and get um, the other wheel well part cleaned up get it tacked into place uh and then get this door roughed into place and then put this panel on because i want all that to line up nice uh without having to without a bunch of hassle so so i think we're gonna go that route um yeah that makes the most sense to me okay so i'm gonna go back over here and it's going to take me a couple hours to get this wheel well cleaned up. Uh, get this extra metal off here and all the spot welds and yada yada. But uh, like I said, I am going to try to leave this one piece and put it together as one piece. And uh, see if we can make that work. I think I'll prop it up on some jacks and some blocks and get it in place just to, to get it tacked. Because uh, I, I really don't want to separate that wheel up on this side if I don't have to. Okay, let me get all that cut apart and uh, we'll be back shortly. All right, so I uh, got all that cut off of the wheel well and got all those, you know, it leaves that little tab on there with the million spot welds. I mean, that's, that has got to be the most miserable part of doing this. Um, because if you drill all them spot wells, you got a bunch of holes to fill. So uh, I kind of grind the spot wells. And when you do that, it just makes a, an unbelievable amount of grinder dust. And, and it took me two hours to do it. And, uh, you know, sitting on a stool, leaning over for two hours with a grinder going, it, even with my ear protection on, my, uh, well, I can feel it in my stomach muscles. <laughs> So, and I did that cut there like I did on the other one so we can fold that piece in. But I think I'm going to be able to put this on um, with that wheel lip attached, which is uh, which is right on because I was really hoping that was going to work. So, let me get this up on there. Um, and we'll get it tacked. We'll get it to, not to strip some of that paint off and see if I can just get it clamped into place somehow. 
and get it tacked into place. So uh, let's take a look at what we got. All right, so we got her tacked in there and uh, it's, it's in the right place. I took my measurements from the wheel lip up to the line and matched it to the other side and everything's looking good. So, uh, man, I wish I'd have done that. <laughs> I wish I'd have done that on the other side, but uh, you know, that's, that's how you learn. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. So um, let's see what we're gonna do next here. I think we're going to, uh, yeah, I think I'll put this little, put this little piece in here make a piece for that and uh man i could just kick myself for cutting that darn door this is what i want to make my uh other door out of and i cut that section out of it and it's like gosh i wouldn't have wish i wouldn't have done that i may have to end up cutting that out of that van and just screwing a piece of sheet metal over it you know just that little corner because it's i got this bead here i gotta have yeah what a pain in the butt but uh anyway i can uh use this door i think to cut that little piece out of it. let's see yeah yeah in fact i Ended up not using that that little bead body line, and we're gonna we're gonna do something with that later. So um, really, all I need to do is find, I don't know if I got that pattern, my cardboard pattern, around or somewhere. Just cut another one, cut that piece, and let's get that welded in there. And uh, that's probably all I'm gonna do for today. So uh, I think that that's a pretty good day's work there, getting that done. But um, yeah between tomorrow and monday we'll have this side where where that side is over there and um i think next week i'm gonna be getting back on the chevy um i got more chrome to put on um just a lot of a lot of little stuff and I'm, I'm gonna order my ac hoses for that so we can get the ac put together but i gotta get that ac bound under the dash and and uh, get on that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that next week or if I'm gonna wait until my AC parts get here and then jump on it and do a video. I might do that. I might stay on this this week. All right, let me get this little piece in and uh, we'll see what we got. All right, so I got this little corner piece in back here and I went ahead and put a couple of brace. I put another brace up in the back of this thing and did some more welding there. This kind of had some movement to it, but she's pretty solid now. And then I went ahead and put a, uh, I don't know if this will stay as a piece of the floorboard or not, but I just put this here for now just to, just to steady this while I'm putting all this together. Um, so anyway, what I'm working on now is the door. And like I said, I wish I had never cut this piece of door. So what I did is I cut this piece out of my van that I drive. And uh, that'll go right in there. You won't be able to tell that was there. So then I made an identical perfect piece and put it in this door. And you can't even tell it's there. You can't even see it. If you run a buffer over that, it would be completely invisible. So uh, that's what we did. All right, so now I'm going to, uh, got to do a little bit of cleanup on this. A little fine tuning and we'll clamp this on here we'll weld that on there and then we're going to get um, this on the bottom of that door over there and see what we got so let's do that all right so got this door half on now i'm about to fine tune this a little bit you see down in the corner i kind of cut off a little triangle i didn't mean to and then we're lining up to about right here on the wheel well. So I'm going to have to cut this loose down here and space that out a little bit and get that out to where it flows nice with that. But this gap here looks pretty good. So I think I can, uh, 
I can go ahead and make this panel. First, I'm going to make that, find that other piece that goes with that body line. We're going to put that in there just like we did the other side. Then we're going to make this panel and fill it in. But uh, coming along pretty good. You know, I hated to have to do this, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, okay, let me, um, let me find that other one of those thingies. Um, that's actually from a, if you look back on some of my old videos, I did a, a, a bunch of metal work and painted a 69 Chevy truck for my buddy Bill from the guy I got this 61. And uh, that's what I'm using for the, um, I'm using the leftover metal from that for this. Here's one right here. And there's that piece right there, that corner. It's not as nice as this other one, but I think we can make it work. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we can make that work. Okay, and how many have you been on your last one? So, we're going to cut that piece out, and we're going to weld it onto there. How did I do that? Oh, I think I like, flattened it out. Let's take a look. Yeah, so I like flatten this out down here so it flow right there. Okay. That'll work. Let's do that. Let's see what we got. All right, there we go. So we've got all the skin done on the outside of this. Now, uh, I'm still off tomorrow for New Year's. So um, what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to do the same as we did here and, and plate this wheel well. And I want to get this uh, portion of the floor finished up over here and get my uh, foot well in over here so everything went pretty quick today we should be able to knock that out fairly smooth tomorrow and then this will all be solid over here that'll be solid over there and then the next thing we can do is cut this thing out um, at least a good portion of it and I want to start filling that big hole in. And uh, I think it's you know, going to be pretty cool in here. I think it's going to be nice and roomy up front with, uh, with that out of there. And, uh, yeah, kind of getting a vision of what it's going to look like. All these holes in the firewall, I think most of them are just going to get patched up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not big on just patching holes in the firewall and leaving those patches there, but that you're not going to see it from the outside because it's not going to have an opening hood from the outside um and then in here it'll pretty much be you know up under the dash so i think i'm just going to end up patching most of those um not 100 percent sure on wiring harness yet if i'm going to use that hole again or not but uh i'm thinking not i'm thinking it's gonna go lower or go somewhere else uh, but we'll we'll get that all figured out. So anyway, rolling right along here. So uh, tomorrow we make this look like this, and uh, we'll call that a pretty successful, uh, pretty successful weekend of building. All right, so we'll pick this up tomorrow. All right, good morning, everybody. So we're back out here and uh, ready to. <clears throat> attack this floorboard today and uh just kind of sitting here looking comparing this side to this side trying to figure out what i want to do see over here you had this nice flat ledge and this was all flat going down to here to this seam where it kind of bent over and then took off that way which is what i want over here but if you look over here i don't know if you can tell that there's like a lot of bends and lumps in there you know where just different factory stampings of how they did things and and uh i don't really want that so i'm thinking i don't know if i want to try, try to pound that flat or just cut it out of this there's really no flat spot up here to stub onto either it's like you gotta 
lump there and then you come over and then you got a raised area there and then you come over and then you got a raised area there i mean that it was a <clears throat> pretty intricate factory stamping i'm uh kind of curious what the engineers were thinking when they did that but uh as long as it's sealed up and solid i don't really care too much what it looks like under the floor mat so i'm thinking what i'm gonna do is just let's go ahead and take a line straight across there i'm gonna put the straight edge on that and cut that let's uh notch this corner first let's get a flat piece going down to there i'll kind of measure how long i need on that side and then we'll cut this out <clears throat> We'll uh, weld it where it's flat and then we'll bash it down with a hammer and weld to make it flat where it's not flat and weld it there. So <laughs> I don't know what the finished product's gonna look like, but it is going to be a floorboard and it uh, will be under a floor mat, so no big deal. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let me do that. Let me get this piece cut. And we'll get uh, we'll get that tacked in there, and we'll go from there. All right, here's where we are now. So I was looking at um, you know how we're going to put this floor together. How I want to make sure that it's reasonably flat. Um, so I measured from here to this corner where the where the floor bends, and that was 14 inches. Now over on this side, it was like 12 inches and some. Um, I guess because of the accelerator pedal and all that. So I went ahead and cut it there and we bent that flat. I cut that whole flange out for I said, cut that off even and bent that all flat. And I got that piece welded in. So now we need to make an angle piece. that's going to come down from here to here. And, uh, I need to get it over into here somewhere i gotta kind of take some measurements off the other side because uh, we're gonna have to come down and then we're gonna have to flatten out and then we're gonna have to connect to to this which i to the wheel well which i still have to do that so i just want to kind of get this piece in for right now um so you can see what i mean so we need to come down to, I guess, to that edge there before we make that turn and start to go flat. And that's not a that's not a hard bend either. That's kind of a soft bend. So that shouldn't be too hard to make. I tried to make that with a piece of cardboard. If you notice, I didn't even notice the motor is offset in this thing. You've got way more room on this side of the driver's side than you do the other side, which kind of makes sense since all your pedals and stuff are over here. So let me um, let me take a measurement off this other side and figure out how we're going to do this. I need to temporarily tack it to here. Just to hold the shape right something to support over here for now <clears throat> until i've got all this built and that built and i'm ready to cut this out and we're going to put some kind of long brace under this floor to to stiffen it up i got some uh i got some steel over there we'll come up with something but uh yeah definitely takes some thinking that's for sure and see that one actually steps out a couple inches and comes down which i don't think we're gonna do that probably not but i do want to kind of end up in the same place there so I'll probably measure outside from here to there and duplicate that on there oh, yep Take some thinking, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, so there's my uh, 460 volt uh, three phase floorboard. And uh, I don't think that's going anywhere. 145 KVA, so that's a, that's a heavy duty floorboard. 
I don't know what gauge that metal is, but I've used this on uh, a few different projects, and uh, man, it's it welds nice and it is stout. I bet it's every bit of 12 gauge. So I got a few more pieces left. I think just enough to fill this in. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, all right, I kind of need to now that I've got that. I kind of need to cut this door open because I got to move. Let's see what we got here. I need to move this wheel well out just a little bit. Uh, or the one edge of the lip. So if I push in here and make that even, this is not even there. So this needs to come out and be welded to the outside of that or pretty close to the outside so but to cut that off i need to get this door open on it and i think we're safe to open the door now i've got uh i've got enough braces in there that uh that i can do that so let's get i want to get that moved i want to get that edge of that wheel well down to where we can make that foot well and then we're going to put that strip in for the floor there and uh yeah coming right along all right so i gotta cut these i don't know why i welded bolts to those i just bridge welded them on the other side but hey like that lock <laughs> that's gonna be going away so let's cut these off get this door open and take care of that all right so i tacked this little corner piece back on this lip that i cut off and when you push that in and line that bottom edge up and line that front edge up. That's pretty good along there. I meant to do a little bit of tweaking on it, but it, uh, yeah, definitely doable. All right, I got the door open. Nothing moved or sagged. Opens nice and smooth. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this um, down like we got the other side like that and I'm just gonna push this piece over here and tack it and cut that thing off and then uh, once once I got that and that side is steady um, then we're gonna go ahead and we'll make a strip that's gonna be this wide catch the frame come up here and catch this We'll put a new, uh, or reuse or something, that little piece I had to support that. And uh, then I think we can go ahead and whack a good part of this tunnel out, because I think we're, we'll be supported well enough. And look at um, filling that front hole. Uh, I'd like to get a piece of that on there today and see what that looks like. Uh, so let me get this done and we'll, we'll take a look. All right, so we got the tunnel cut out. I got this piece put in. And then I had this piece of eighth inch channel, which came off of uh, came off of the back of a seat of a, uh, one of those extended like church vans. So this bolted the seat to the floor. That's a heavy hunk of iron. So I made a brace out of that to support both sides of the floor. And when I extend these rails out, we're gonna drop a brace from that down to the rail. And uh, that, that'll, uh, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna put one more piece on this thing today and uh, call it quits for this video. Let's make a piece to fill this hole and uh, get that done. And man, I need to do some major cleaning in here. So tools everywhere cardboard everywhere grinding dust everywhere it's just it's crazy so let's get this piece done take a look at it and uh that's gonna be it for today i'm gonna take the rest of the day and just kind of hang out you know what i'm saying all right all right there we go so that's the last piece i'm gonna put on today got that cut and uh tack welded in there and I think it's looking pretty good in here. Now, you know, I, 
I very well could have cut that whole firewall out and, and not had to patch all those holes. And maybe if you're doing something like this, you want to do it that way. But I just, I didn't have a piece of metal that big. And um, I don't know, I just didn't want to do it that way. So um, if you're building yours, you can do that however you want to. Uh, so I'm just, I'm going to patch the rest of them holes up. I'm going to patch where the old... Uh, where the old heater box goes i'll probably do like a an old school style under dash heater in here i don't think i'm gonna do air conditioning in this thing and uh, i'm gonna leave this though it's a uh so like this hole is a fresh air intake and it's got an actuator on it up there so um i may just run a vacuum switch to that so i can open that up and get some fresh air in here when i want to even if it is over on this side, I, th I think that'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, kick butt on this thing today. Got a lot done uh, over the last last three days. So I'm not sure how long this video is going to be yet. I haven't checked it out. But uh, all right, so we have got some major, major <laughs> cleanup to do before I do any more because it's a it's a freaking disaster in here. All right, so let's. Uh, We'll end this here. We'll go inside. We'll get a word from the Lord, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Thanks for coming along on the video today, everybody. So, uh, you know, this is this is the new year, and this is the time of year we all make those, um, uh, you know, those those New Year resolutions. And uh, you know, usually we don't end up keeping them very long. I think the average is about. Uh, 45 days, you know, for people that want to lose weight and they want to exercise, and I'm kind of in both of those camps this year. I need to do that, but uh, we were talking about um, at, at church uh, Sunday, um, really renewing our relationship with the Lord and 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 um, making sure that we make time to be with Him every day, to be in His Word every day. Uh, to really put him at um, at the center of what we're doing in uh, in 2023, and um, so anyway, my uh, my good friend Doug, who is the uh, uh, worship leader at our church, he's got the song he wrote that we've uh, been doing in our church. I think him and his wife wrote it uh, quite a ways back. So I, I just kind of wanted to share it with you. It's a really beautiful song, and um, I've not played my acoustic guitar for all. Uh, a while so if this is a little fudgy forgive me uh but uh i hope you like this this is called uh, make us new <laughs>
you know too well of our transgressions and Now we come with full confession You are holy and we are so wonderful Make us new, make us new, and change our desire, make it you, make it you, remove the stain of shameful sin, restore to joy in us again, all consuming fire. Make us new All right, I really like that song And uh, I don't know if I did it any justice or not But I, I, I sure do like playing it I usually play bass at our church and uh, But I have played acoustic quite a bit with my uh, wife and I do music, just haven't done it in a while, so I'm a little rusty there. And my voice is a little rusty, too. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get her down here to sing one of these times on one of these videos. But anyway, um, that was kind of the gist of what we, oops, what we talked about Sunday was let's make sure that as we go into this new year, into 2023, that we are looking for that renewal in our relationship with the Lord, that we're just really um, spending, like I said, spending time in his word, spending time in prayer, um, you know, talking to our our, our neighbors and um, asking what, what can we pray for them for and just asking the Lord, what does he have for us today? What does he want us to do? You know, let's put, put our plans aside and put his plans out in front. And uh, I think if we can do that, um, it, it's going to be a pretty awesome year. You know, I know we're probably all going to have some struggles during the year. Um, there's probably going to be sicknesses going on, uh, all those things that we deal with all the time. But, uh, you know, uh, being being in, t in touch with the Lord and being close with Him and uh, just really trying to um, uh, renew our faith and uh, making sure that we're putting Him at the center of our lives. So... That's uh, that's kind of the message for today. I hope you like the song. I mean, uh, I think Doug does it a little better than I do, but, uh, but uh, you know, it's a good song. I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, I'll do some more practice, and maybe the next one will be a uh, little more polished. So let's uh, have a word of prayer today, and uh, that'll be it for this week. Father, we just thank you for getting us through this past year and uh, for the new year ahead and uh, the opportunity that presents to to, uh, to serve you and to be with you and to strengthen our relationship and to grow in our relationship with you. And we just hope that, uh, ask that you would uh, soften our hearts and be with us uh, on a daily basis and uh, just uh, uh, help us to reach out to you um, in, in all things, not only when, uh, you know, when things are going bad and uh, we need help, but to, to praise you when things are going great. And uh, we ask this in the name of your precious son, Jesus. Amen. All right, hit like, hit subscribe, and um, make sure you share this with your friends. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video.